astronauts into space. It's about to happen, and Liz Clayman has the story from the SpaceX facility in Hawthorne, California. Only in America, Liz. <laughs> oh, you, you perfect, perfect point, Stuart. Only in America can you wake up one morning and say, I am going to start a rocket ship company, and here we are in Hawthorne, California. In the last hour, we showed you the rocket that SpaceX is putting together. This is called the Falcon 9. They expect to test this next year. They have tested Falcon 1s, that's one engine versus nine, three of which have gone up, three of which have not succeeded to their heights that they were expected to succeed, but they never call that a failure here. Now I'm showing you what they want to put the astronauts in. NASA is paying SpaceX and Elon Musk, the chairman and founder of this company, hundreds of millions of dollars to get this happening and to make it work. This is called the Dragon Human Crew Capsule. And I am joined now as we walk around this incredible piece of equipment by Elon Musk, the founder of SpaceX and the chairman as well. Tell me about this Dragon crew capsule. Sure. Well, this is the, the vehicle that is intended to um, replace the, the space shuttle after the space shuttle retires in terms of servicing the, uh, the space station. So initially, we'll be taking uh, cargo to the space station to resupply the astronauts, as well as bringing experiments back to Earth. Um, and uh, And then... We expect to upgrade this uh, to carry people as well, um, and, uh, and and then transport astronauts uh, to to the space station. How many astronauts? It can take seven astronauts, the same as the space shuttle. Okay, it seems small, but compare it to say Soyuz that the Russians have. Yeah, this this is at least uh, this is more than twice as big uh, in, in terms of interior volume as the Soyuz, uh, which carries three people, um, and. Uh, if you look at the space shuttle, although it's a very large craft, uh, the, the crew cabin is actually not that big. Um, you can think of the, the space shuttle like a giant semi-trailer where it's got a big cargo bay, but it's got a fairly small crew cabin. Um, and that's why we can carry as, as many people as the space shuttle. We're in a working rocket ship factory, and that's why you hear all of the noise. But you're upping the quotient by putting humans into one of these things. I mean, I see the little window here, but right. you, you haven't succeeded in getting the rockets all the way up to where you'd like them to yet. Uh, does NASA pressure you? Are they calling saying, uh, SpaceX, could we get this going, or we're a little concerned? Or do they expect these kinds of failures in the incipient stages of a company such as this? Um, well, Na NASA, I mean, there's, there's no organization in the world that, that understands space more than, than NASA does. Um, and they're very familiar with the early history of rockets and the early development phase. Um, and in the early development phase, there, there's, you know, things are expected to go wrong until you, you go fully operational. Um, NASA understands this. Um, and so they, while they're, they would obviously like us to uh, finish the development phase and get to orbit as soon as possible, they recognize that uh, leading up to that phase, there will be issues. You did have a successful splash test. I think we have video to show our viewers of both the splash test. And then you're, you're creating the heat shield. And... And I guess as I look at this, I'm, I'm wondering where and when this will go on the nose cone of the Falcon, but do you right. think you'll hit your time target? Um, we do expect to do our first launch next year. Uh, that will be the, with the Falcon 9 vehicle carrying our Dragon spacecraft, yes. So you have made how many milestones? Because if people don't understand how these NASA contracts work, you have to hit, I believe you have 22 milestones on your books. How many have you hit so far? Um, I think we're at around uh, 14 or 15 milestones, and so uh, we, we've, we've met all the milestones uh, uh, on time. In fact, we, we, we finished the nine-engine firing of Falcon 9, which is one of the, the biggest milestones and arguably the most difficult uh, uh, milestone to achieve in our vehicle development. We achieved that two months early. Now, they discovered water on Mars, that, that Land Rover, and when people saw those pictures of the water being discovered, does that add a little so-called rocket fuel to the space race and get people more excited and more hopeful about a company like SpaceX? Well, d definitely the confirmation of water on Mars and water in large quantities, and, and in fact, going beyond that, uh, the verification that Martian soil could actually sustain Earth plants and is non-toxic um, means that we could create um, another e ecosystem on Mars. We could create an Earth-like ecosystem. It would take a lot of work. Um, and initially, things would have to be in pressurized domes, but the, but but all the all the ingredients are there: uh, the water, the, the the soil, all that stuff. So we could create another uh, another ecosystem. We could back up the biosphere onto Mars. And it could come from this dragon. Before we go, he's got one eye on the heavens and one eye on the road. Look at the Tesla. He is also the chairman of Tesla Motors. This is the this is the rocket ship of vehicles on on I guess our roads here goes. How fast? 
Um, well, it's it's got it's a super car performer in terms of acceleration. It's got uh, zero to sixty miles an hour in under four seconds. All battery powered, Stuart. Yeah, and as we finish up, you've you've delivered how many so far now? Um, we're at about twenty seven or twenty eight, um, and we're producing about five per week, and we'll be ramping that up by the end of the year to twenty per week. Do you have a CEO? Yeah, absolutely, uh, Zev Drory. Dev Tori is the CEO. And finally, when are you going to take SpaceX public? I have to ask you that one. I think probably within uh, two years or so. Years. Yeah. So you do plan to have an IPO of SpaceX, all right? Yeah, absolutely. Hey, Liz, right. that was Elon great. Elon Musk live from SpaceX. Yeah, the founder of Stuart, PayPal, Rocket Man. Terrific yeah. stuff. Thanks very much, Liz.